Hey guys, it's Marissa. So in this month's video for RBSG, and if you're not familiar with what that is, that means Random Beauty Support Group, where me and a few other small beauty YouTubers here on YouTube just come together once a month to like just film a makeup look based off a randomly generated word. So this month is Renee's month and her word that was assigned to her was effect. So basically she just told us to, um, put together a makeup look where whatever has affected us in our life, um, just to kind of like make a makeup look based off of that or what you're influenced by. So I wanted to do a makeup look just over what I'm influenced by in life, which basically I honestly probably would not be on YouTube if it wasn't for like beauty influencers and stuff like that, because that's what made me want to do makeup videos. So I just went ahead and took a Jeffree Star palette that I have and just basically just made a makeup look off that and I just incorporated it with my favorite colors since yesterday was my birthday for my 21st birthday so I just wanted to kind of do something where it's just showing like how I'm getting older but I'm still like progressing in my skills like in makeup still even though it's been a while here on YouTube that I've done makeup looks but I'm still like learning if that makes sense so yeah I feel like what's affected me most is honestly still learning like from not only beauty YouTubers, but like TikTokers as well for makeup looks and stuff. And I just still find it so much fun to do. And it's honestly really interesting to see like how other people's routines are. So basically, if you guys have never seen me before, um, you'll definitely be surprised with how the way I <laughs> contour and blush. Like honestly, I, I've never seen anyone do it the way I do it, but it honestly works best for me. But if you are interested in seeing the other ladies' videos, I will have a pinned comment down below of the playlist link. But if you're interested in seeing this makeup look and how I did it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using mainly the Bloodlust palette by Jeffree Star just because it's got tons of really pretty colors and purple is overall my favorite color as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just dip from this palette. And then for a base, I'm just going to go ahead and use the CoverGirl Concealer Stick in the shade Neutralizer to just kind of put it on my eyelids first before like putting on any eyeshadow just so the pigment can stay on longer. So I'm just going to do like a light purple shade, which is the shade Deviant. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take like the Ulta Beauty round brush and just go ahead and just like pack that on a little bit above my crease. And then next I'm just going to take a little bit of Vivid Mood, which is like a darker uh, lilac purple, and just kind of put that into my crease. And then next I'm also going to take the shade Take the Crown um, for my eyelid and just basically apply that with my fingers just because shimmery shades just apply so much more better with your finger in my opinion. And then I'm just going to take Vivid Mood again and just apply that to like the outer corners of my eye and just kind of blend that in with the shimmery shade that I just put. Now I'm just going to use a liquid eyeliner, so I'm just going to take the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner in the shade Jet Black and just create a wing with that. Then I'm just taking makeup remover wipes, which I'm also just going to be using the Clinique um, Take the Day Off, like just makeup remover wipes. And honestly, any of them work though, but I feel like Clinique, for me, I have sensitive skin. And these ones don't really aggravate my face. Like I've noticed like the Neutrogena ones, which are super popular among like a lot of people. But for me, like they make my face feel like it's burning. So I have to like really be careful with what kind of face products I use or makeup remover. Um, so this one works really good. And basically I'm just cleaning up like around the edges of the eyeliner wing or any kind of like fallout from my eyeshadow before I start applying like concealer and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead for primer and just use the Artless Glow Base, the Artless Glow Base by Hymish. And um, I really need to clean off most of my bottles. Like it's honestly really bad how full of concealer they are just from my makeup bag. So ignore that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend that into my skin. And I really like that because not only is like a 
primer but it's also like um a little bit of sunscreen too it does have spf 50 in it which is also really nice so now i'm going to use the tarte shape tape concealer in the shade fair neutral and i'm just going to go ahead and mainly just add it underneath my eyes i usually don't go in with foundation or anything just because i prefer not to um so i just Go ahead and do this and then I just blend everything in using the Real Techniques Beauty Complexion Sponge. Oh. And then I mainly just set some powder underneath my eyes just so it prevents creasing and stuff. So I'm just going to be using the Airspun loose face powder and this is in the shade naturally neutral and i'm just gonna bake a little bit under my eye and then i usually contour really weird i just like contour and blush very heavily and then i blend everything out afterwards um so i'm just gonna go ahead and take the malibu glitz bronzer from shop miss aoa and this is in the shade i don't think it has one it just says item 12605a hashtag four <laughs> it doesn't have anything on it so Basically, it's this color, and using an Alta blush brush, I'm just going to, like, just kind of outline where I want the contour on my face, and then I just blend it out afterwards. I know it looks very weird right now, but I don't know, I just kind of like the way it looks like this. I just feel like because I have combination skin, because usually I have pretty dry skin, but it's because of my face wash, and if I don't, um use my face wash then it's really super oily so I kind of have like a little bit of both and I just feel like this works best and also I'm just lazy and I don't feel like using like actual cream contour and then setting it because half the time I'm in a rush when I get ready so that's basically why <laughs> and then for blush I'm just gonna go ahead and take the bloodlust palette again and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the shade royal pain which is this really pretty pink color Okay, it looks really weird, but now I'm gonna blend everything in while the concealer is still somewhat wet on my face. And then where I put that setting powder too, I kind of just like dust that off a little bit with the beauty blender while I'm like blending everything in. Like this is before and then after, so it's definitely a big difference. And then I just like go ahead a little bit with, if I like um, blend it in too much with the beauty blender, I kind of just add back some blush. I'm also gonna add a little bit of bronzer on my collarbone area, just a little bit and to fill in my brows i'm gonna go ahead and use the elf instant lift brow pencil and this is in the shade neutral brown so i just lightly fill in my brows And then I'm just going to go ahead and use this e.l.f. mascara. I really need to buy some new mascara, but I got this one for free when I bought something off the e.l.f. site. And I honestly don't like it at all, but I'm just going to go ahead and just like mix it with a few other mascaras that I have. Um, it's just called the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara in the shade Black. So I'm just going to go ahead and just apply this to my top lashes. I'm not going to apply anything down to my lower lashes or anything like that just because... I don't know, I might add on to it later on in the day, but for now, this is what I'm going to stick to. And I'm just going to use mostly just the wand because there's really not much product left in this. It's the Ulta Beauty Maximum Lashes Mascara, and that's in the shade Jet Black. And then literally my favorite part is highlighter, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the shade Beauty Sleep. And maybe a little bit of Wet Jewel also, but I'm just going to apply that using an Ulta blending brush and I also will use a little bit of a precision brush as well for the inner corners of my eye. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use um, a little bit of the shimmer tint um, by Bath and Body Works. It's the Mentha shimmer tint and it's basically just like a really pretty nude lip gloss uh, that kind of like helps plump your lips I'm pretty sure because it makes your lips feel kind of minty so... 
and I did just take a shower before this but this is basically the completed makeup look and I honestly really like it. This is my favorite color purple so I just wanted to incorporate it for this month's makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys are interested in seeing the other ladies videos I will be linking all of that in the description below. I'll probably actually just have a pinned comment of like the playlist link down below so if you're interested in checking that out go ahead and click the link down below but if not I'll just see you guys next Sunday at 3 p.m eastern standard time. Bye!